so hello students in the last class of data communication we discussed about the data rate limits and the uh, what are the factors it is dependent upon and what are the two different formulas for noiseless and noisy channel to find the data rate limit so in this class let's see what is the performance of the channel right when the channel in the performance yadra mel depend agirutte idanna ee class alli nodana so okay okay so when we say the term performance in the data communication or in the terms of channel the performance of the channel is measured by the bandwidth okay so bandwidth mele naavu ee performance na when the channel in the we will measure it right so what is bandwidth in the last class we discussed about bandwidth as well so bandwidth anta helidre enu the data how much data is being transferred from one device to the other per second right so that is the bandwidth so here this bandwidth can be in two forms that is bandwidth in hertz or it can be bandwidth per second okay so what is bandwidth the uh, in hertz means so bandwidth in hertz means range of frequency a channel can pass so there are two types of uh, uh, channel right one is signals sorry that is one is simple signal and, the, and then there is composite signal simple signal anta helidre enu ella onde frequency idu onde frequency alli hogta irutte okay so one uh, onde frequency alli hogta irutte so that is called as simple uh, signal and there is composite signal where there are different uh, frequency signals right so there will be different frequency signal okay so the bandwidth the in hertz and the heldana how much frequency range of frequency what are the different range of frequency the channel can pass and the okay now in the composite uh, signal lana thagondaga what are the range of frequency different different ranges yav yav range inna it will allow through it so it is called as the bandwidth in hertz okay so then there is bandwidth bits per second so bandwidth the bits per second is how many bits the network can transmit per second okay one the second and as i told you the uh, what the data will be in the form of zeros and ones right 0 1 0 1 and then you can go ma'am signal anta helidre matte 0 1 0 1 anta idara bits anta helidira so this uh, in further process we, you will come to know that this signal is also given as idanna now mail bandre 1 anta helthivi kela bandre 0 anta helthivi so idanna now signal anna uh, bits na signal alli convert maadi we are sending it okay so how much bits per second is being transmitted on the network this is called as bandwidth bits per second okay so in other words the performance of a channel is measured by what bandwidth okay so e bandwidth to yara tara varutte one bandwidth in hertz anta varutte innond bandwidth bits per second anta varutte okay na so bandwidth in hertz anta helidre what is the range of frequencies the channel allows to pass through it okay na one channel ide anta helidre yav range of frequency it allows to pass through it adanna nave en anta helthivi bandwidth in hertz anta helthivi so bandwidth bits per second anta helidre eshtu bits per second network transmit maartta ide anta okay na so that is bandwidth bits per second okay so then there is a term which i have written on the board that is throughput throughput anta helidre throughput is a measure of how fast we can send we can actually send the data through the network okay the speed this is related to the speed of the transfer of data okay so it is also dependent on bandwidth the performance is measured in terms of one to 
divided by propagation time. So, as you can see in the formula, the propagation time is directly uh, depended on the distance and the speed. Okay, na? One the bit to sender in the receiver it hook back on the head what is it depended on on the head it is dependent on the distance h to distance h to dura than the two devices on the matte propagation speed what is the speed what is the data rate limit of the uh, channel okay so it the propagation time is dependent on these two factors okay so what is propagation time it is the time taken by a bit to travel from the sender to reach to the receiver. Okay. So, we will move on to the next factor uh, that is uh, transmission time. Okay. So, transmission time. Transmission time on the head of the right? Propagation time on the head of the head of the bit the Sender in the receiver is okay. Is the time take one the other transmission time on the head of the EV message. All the bits travel madly get sender in the receiver again. Yes, the time they go the now transmission time on the head Okay, so this is the time required for the transmission of the entire message. Okay, so in the propagation time you go transmission time you go. This is the difference that is propagation time only one of the bit hog okay. Is the time on the head of Transmission time is the entire message will be is to time out of the end. Okay, na? so we also have a formula for this that is um, transmission time. Okay, so transmission time equal to message size, message size divided by bandwidth. formula the transmission time is depended on two factors right one the size h to the the message on the matha in on the bandwidth bandwidth and the capacity of the uh, channel on the head okay now how much data can be tra uh, traveled from the sender to receiver per second other than now bandwidth and the energy how the so uh, from the formula we can say that transmission time is dependent on two factors that is the size of the message okay h to the data message amala bandwidth of the channel right so this is about the transmission time so the difference is is only one of the bits h to time to hold the whole okay transmission time and the entire message will be h to time to hold the okay so the next one is queuing time So why is, what is Q? Q on the head you know? So Q on the head is waiting, right? It is uh, almost similar to the word waiting, right? So when the message bartha is in the head See, See, in the head of the head of the device is there. It is center of the the receiver are going. There are two devices, the one which is sending and the other one which is receiving. So, the capacity of the sender and the capacity of the receiver will be different. So, capacity, the bandwidth, everything will be different of two different uh, devices. So, again, uh, again, the uh, till the all the signal comes, this end device, this device is called as the end device has to wait until all the bits are passed to the receiver and then it has to, um, then it has to process, then it has to process the entire message, right. So, in queuing time on the head, right, the time needed for each end devices, okay. The, so, the time needed for each end devices to hold the message before it can be processed. Process agrit kinta munche, message in a hold murder case to time diaper, other than now queuing time at the So, this queuing time is uh, not constant.
constant constant agirodilla same agirodilla ella devices ige so it will be a changing factor right so it uh, changes with load in, imposed anta helidare so load imposed anta helidare it depends on different uh, factors like message es dodda agirbodu bitrate test ide ondu device indu idr mele ella depend agutte so what is the load imposed actually on the device it is uh, called the queuing What is the the it is the time okay so it is the time needed by the end device to hold the message until it can be processed process आने की तो मुझे वे hold मार ये तो message ना hold मार और उधर time ही गया ना उधर है queuing time उधर है it is not a constant time it will keep on changing based on the device okay then uh, it depends on what it changes with the, the load imposed on right so this is about the queuing time so the last one is processing delay so processing delay anta helidre ondu ella bits receiver ig bandadmele it has to be the message has to be processed how the so uh, so what is the time taken to process the message which has been received from the sender okay na one sender inda one message bandirutte anta helidre adu ella ella bits banda admele adanna process madlikke eshtu time beko we call it processing delay okay na so the processing delay depends on two factors that is two metrics or two factors that is one is the bandwidth so the one is bandwidth so the one is bandwidth and second one is the delay okay na so the processing delay anta helidre na after all the bits are received at the receiver from, uh, which is sent by the sender it has to be processed the the time used for the processing this data is called as processing delay okay it depends on two performance matrix that is uh, uh, bandwidth and the second one is delay so this is uh, given by delay how we will find delay is delay equal to bandwidth into